Welcome to SOS Media, your number one source of the latest news, opinions, and in-depth investigations that dig deeper into today's developing stories around the globe. Recently, Busi Badas was hanging out on the beach during one of his Instagram lives when a man offered him a favor for a massage. The man has since been known to be a staff member at the beach and the act a normal practice at the beach, but not to Busi. The staff suggested that he massages the rapper's back an act which left Busi confused. He went on to tell the man that he was absolutely not interested in getting a massage from him due to his gender. It was all clear that Busi wasn't into it at all as he kept suggesting that it would have been very appropriate if it were a female proposing to do so. I let women massage me, he said. The man kept encouraging him to take him up on his offer but Busi was sticking to his guns. No, go get a lady and tell her come massage me though I don't even like letting women massage me, because I think they're getting off on it, he added. It's rather clear that the kind man's offering meant no harm and was just trying to provide Busi with a relaxing experience, but it seems like the rapper was worried about letting another man touch him in such an intimate way regardless, which makes sense considering his controversial stance on that type of community. We should also note that during a recent interview with the Danza Project earlier this week, Busi revealed that he once turned down a massive payday to perform at such a community event. Companies don't want to mess with me for the things I speak about. It's a lot of losses and it's a lot of gains also. But I'm not being real for money, he explained. If that's the case, I can sell my soul for anything. I've been offered a quarter million to go to perform at that kind of community things and that is big money but I told them I have nothing against it at all, but that's not what I push and that's not what I believe in, Boosie stressed. Interesting again is the fact that Busi Badis says he once shot down an offer of $250,000 to perform at an event in support of the now popular community. Recalling the offer during a recent interview with the Danza Project, Busi explained that accepting that offer would have gone against his beliefs. In addition to losing out on the $250,000, Busi's homophobia has also resulted in numerous public feuds over the years, and we can also recall that he once was very upset with Nas' 2021 performance at that year's BET Awards, a function during which Nas kissed another man. He has also had beef with Gabrielle Union calling out the actress for supporting her transgender daughter. Despite the numerous incidents and his latest remarks, Busi has claimed not to be homophobic. Appearing on My Expert Opinion back in June Busi argued that much of the drama has been taken out of context. People have to understand that it's not the same stroke for the same folk, he said. Surprisingly though, Busi emphasized the point that he trusted people in such a community more than he did trust regular people citing an example of his assistant manager. It's great that with over 20 years in the music industry, Busi Badis has built up quite an impressive and respected catalogue over the years, and many of his big hits and moments are collaborative but he holds just as much weight as any other solo artist. What's even more is that Busi also owns a significant chunk of his music from which he gets a lot of revenue. Still with more things to think about and amid a new phase in his life, Busi is thinking about the smartest moves for the future when it comes to his music. Moreover, the Baton Rouge MC recently stated in a The Danza Project interview that he plans to rearrange his finances and royalties. Busi has remarked on his plans to find a deal on his independent catalog willing to sell at least half of all the stuff he personally owns. Busi boasts of about 22 independent albums and sees no problem parting with half of this and benefiting in about 20 years to come, a time he claims his children will need the money. However, considering his beef with Young Blue we know that some of his publishing deals haven't always worked out in his favor. Busi Badas and Young Blue have been going back and forth on social media as of late and Busi recently took things a step further. The 40-year-old rapper took to Instagram to hurl a few more insults at Young Blue calling him ungrateful, and accusing him of being a thief. According to Busi Young Blue is also getting ripped off in his publishing deal. Busi went on to share some screenshots which appear to showcase how much Young Blue is earning from his music, versus how much Empire Records and the company Vice and Play are earning. In the past Boosie has accused the CEO of Empire of signing a deal with Young Blue without his knowledge, even alleging that Young Blue had forged his signature. With that in mind, it's heartening to hear that there's a chance this catalogue could set Boosie's family up for further success and resources. 
after all, especially in the streaming age where there are so many moving pieces getting in the way of artists do money. It's also worth noting that like other deals, his discography comprises of a lot of older and more long-staying music that has stood the test of time. As such therefore, the Trill Entertainment affiliate could lay low for as long as he wants if this goes through. Of course we know that such an outcome isn't likely for him because just this year, Bad has dropped multiple projects the latest of which was going through some things. Boosie is well known for supporting R. Kelly especially when he took a firm and animated stance over the 30-year sentence handed to singer-songwriter and king of R&B R. Kelly. In an interview with Vlad TV, Boosie publicly proclaimed that R. Kelly was only given a harsh sentence because he is a rich African-American and that he had even seen lighter sentences for murders. Boosie has gone as far as putting the blame on the parents of R. Kelly's victims posting a screenshot of a court document alleging that, a 17-year-old girl's mother engineered her relationship with the singer and actively misled him about her age. Boosie also posted a video on Instagram which features him playing Kelly's music on a boat and bemoaning the sentence. While Boosie's remarks are naturally set to cause controversy, R. Kelly's sentence does involve mandatory mental health treatment upon release. The treatment will include therapy for an unspecified disorder and avoidance of all contact with anyone under 18, unless they are a family member or in a therapeutic setting. On that note, stay posted on SOS Media for the latest news and updates on R. Kelly and his die-hard supporter Boosie Bad, as. Meanwhile, for all of us who have been waiting to have a glimpse at the contents of the federal government's reply to R. Kelly's Illinois appeal brief, we'll now have to wait for another extra 30 days to do so because the government has been granted another one-month extension of time to do so. This development means that she'll have to wait till the 31st of October 2023 and the reply brief by the appellant if any by November 21, 2023. This is according to the United States Court of Appeal Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division, the Court of Appeal for the Seventh Circuit. As we continue to witness more new developments occurring during R. Kelly's appeal proceedings, we can just stay optimistic that this time this relevant truth will be put into consideration. We believe R. Kelly and his legal team will be able to outline all the injustices, misinterpretations of the law, cases of lying and witness tampering that have marred all R. Kelly's legal proceedings and that the law, truth and justice will this time along prevail. It has been a long wait and we can't wait any longer to see R. Kelly regain his deserved freedom. Thank you for watching today's video brought to you by SOS Media. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Also remember to leave your comment about today's topic in the comment section below.